I have a TikTok now. Follow me there at It's Karen Terry. Now, just because this is a canon character doesn't mean you have to be strictly canon compliant. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about role-playing canon characters. So we've talked about role-playing lots of different kinds of characters on this channel, but I've never actually addressed role-playing canon characters, which is crazy because I love role-playing canon characters. If you've participated in fandom role-play, then you know this story. If you make an OC that's part of a fandom, basically everyone ignores your character because they're more interested in playing with the canon characters. And I've heard some feedback from people that do this on why this happens. They're nervous about if they play a canon character, what if they do it wrong, or what if no one likes their portrayal, etc, etc, you get the idea. So today, I'm going to share five tips on role-playing canon characters, and by the end of this video, you should feel like this is just as easy as playing an OC. The first thing we do is research. If you're going to be playing a canon character, you want to be familiar with the canon material. Sure, you can passively absorb a lot of fanon and related tropes and things like that, but that's not going to inspire you in the same way that looking at the canon material is going to do. Entire headcanons can spring from just one line. When you look at canon, you see in real time how often certain expressions or mannerisms are actually portrayed. You get a real sense of their speech patterns, how they move, how they think. This is all medium dependent, of course, but if you're going to roleplay a canon character, I recommend actually reading or watching or whatevering the canon that they're actually from. And yes, I know, plenty of successful roleplayers don't do this, but imagine how much more successful they would be if they did. I personally really like to make lists of certain things that are important to me about a particular canon character. And this list helps me keep the character in line in something that's close to canon compliant that makes me comfortable. And by lists, I mean traits, mannerisms, key phrases, symbols, things like that. I may assign them zodiac signs or write down catchphrases that they like to say a lot, or maybe I'll make a playlist of songs that inspire me about that character. These are all great tools to help you get into a character's mindset. Then. I'll write them their own bio, yes, even though they're a canon, and I've got a whole video about how to write bios and my methods for that, I'll link that up in the card for you if you're interested in writing a bio for your canon character. The reason why I do this is because it helps me figure out what pieces of that canon character's history are actually important to my personal portrayal. And of course, I recommend doing all this stuff for OCs too, but when it comes to canons, the reason why it's important is because it helps keep your portrayal consistent, so you really feel like you're playing a canon character instead of just your own OC with the canon's name slapped onto it. Now, just because this is a canon character doesn't mean you have to be strictly canon compliant. I recommend also changing something. Hell, change a few things. Is there this one part of canon you think is stupid? Throw it out. Do you wish canon would have done this other thing that would have been way cooler? Add it in. Create alternate universes for your character. What would they be like if they worked on a starship in Star Trek? What if they had a different gender or sexuality? How does that change them? What if they were vampire? Make as many AUs as you can, and I've got a video about how to adapt your characters to an AU that I'll link up in the card for you. I know, the first tip was on research, but we're going to come back to research. Because this is a canon character, I'm assuming you don't want to stray too far from canon, because then otherwise why not just make an OC? So I recommend refreshing your research from time to time. Reread the books, rewatch the show, rewatch the movie, re whatever it is that's the canon. Go to your lists that we talked about in tip number two and go back through them again and make new ones. This is going to help you adjust your character back to how you originally envisioned them so that you don't stray too far away from that canon norm that you want to maintain. So, I know in my tips so far I've talked about what to do so that you're not straying too far away from canon. And I'm about to undermine all of that and say, it doesn't matter that much. 
there's a lot of pressure in fandom roleplay to roleplay characters this way or that way or to include this or not include this. And will you get more partners if your character is closer to canon? Maybe, but also maybe not. Often what people really want is an idealized version of that character for roleplay, especially when it comes to villains. So don't stress too much about being super canon compliant. It's not even always what people are looking for. Instead, worry about if your character is fun and engaging and interesting first. And if all that research and stuff is starting to feel like work instead of fun, then stop doing that and just go back to roleplaying. In closing, roleplaying canons shouldn't feel like any more or less work than roleplaying OCs. So, in closing, my tips for roleplaying canon characters are research, make a list of stuff for your character, change something to make it your own, make sure you're regularly refreshing that research that you did, and lastly, stop worrying so much. All right, so what do you guys think? This is how I set up my canon characters. Do you do something similar? Do you do something really different? Let me know down below. Also, if you don't play canons, does this make you interested in playing canon characters? I'm also curious about that. So let me know down below in those comments and don't forget as always to make it a great day. <laughs>